Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to This Is Our Time with Elizabeth Wong Olish. That's me running for state candidate, state senate. And uh, here's our logo, Love, Lives, Liberty, Law. It starts with love. Your lives are important. And liberty operates when good laws promote peace and prosperity. So today our guest is Ethan. And Ethan, what's your last name? It's Nijioku. N-I-J-I-Y-O-K-U. Ethan Nijioku. Last year, Ethan, you had me on your podcast, and that was so helpful for our campaign. People have been sharing it all over. So thank you so much. That, that, that's great because uh, the reason I really want to do the podcast is because we really, our, our main audience is Chinese and Mandarin speaking, and they need to know their candidate. Uh, a lot of Chinese people in LA area, they don't know what to vote for, and they don't know what to do when it comes to uh, election. And the thing is, it's really changing their life. And uh, the government is deciding what they need to do. A lot of the policy, the government input, is really affecting their life, and they have no idea what happened. And then uh, the the church don't talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. Their family don't know about it. So I think uh, my audience, it, my, my my main goal is to get people like you to go to the office. <laughs> well, it's really helping, and even people that are generations American born there they also don't know what's going on and and it's hard for them to follow and figure out um, what do we do to make things better and so okay Ethan all right you've got AI news news and it's a YouTube channel yes so I I didn't I haven't asked you before <clears throat> how did you start it and why and start with why did you name it AI news uh it, it all started in the very beginning um, when I first got saved. I only want to do three things. First is read the Bible. And then uh, second is I want to listen to sermon because there's a lot of things I don't understand. And the third thing when I read and study the Bible is I want to share it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how to share it that time. That time, is it, it was like, I, I got to do those three things, and I don't want to do anything else except those three. At work, I want to I, I, I want to listen to sermon. Mm-hmm. And when I go to sleep, I want to listen to sermon. And I think that is a big change in my life. That's and, a hungry heart. Yeah, and okay. I want, I need to get back to that. <laughs> so how old were you at that time? I, it was uh, six years, uh, seven years ago. So I was 30 something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in my early 30. Now I'm in my late 30 now. <laughs> <laughs> no one would be able to tell. You look very young. And so so you were in your 30s when you got saved. Yes. 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 Wow, the, it sounds like the Lord really, really um, changed your life, changed your heart. Yeah. All you wanted, were, you were hungry for the word. Yes, and I want to share it, and I don't know how. And uh, one of the great way I found is to record it and then uh, share it through YouTube. Mm-hmm. And then that's how I started my mm-hmm. channel with my wife in the beginning. And then when AI News, when they're gathering a group together because of the 2020 election, and uh, I talk about a lot about politics and how Christians should look at politics as well. And so the founder found me. And then, uh, oh. yeah, he, uh-huh. he goes to our church. Mm-hmm. And then uh, after that, he, he assembled a team, team of three. And then we started our uh, news channel. And after six months, the, news, uh, the funding ran out. He, uh, the, the, the founder said, hey, you have uh, two choices. You can uh, keep the channel going or you guys just can just give up and then uh, go back to where you came from and uh, go do your job. And then we all three just get together and pray. And we, we, we were crying in the office. Like we got together and do this channel for, for a reason. Mm-hmm. God, you assemble this team mm-hmm. for a reason. Mm-hmm. We gotta do it. We don't have money. We don't have anything. But if this is what you want us to do, bless us. 
and let us continue. Yeah, you knew in your heart. Yes. This is from the Lord. Yes. And so you continue, and He'll make a way. Yes. So how long has it been now? Four years. Four years. Wow. Uh -huh. Four years. We survived for four years. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's going. It's so it's not only surviving, but is growing. It is. Yeah. It is growing. And okay, tell us about the name of the uh, channel again. It's called. AI news mm -hmm. and uh, AI is not artificial intelligence. It's mm -hmm. I for Chinese, so it's a uh, it's love for Chinese. Mm -hmm. So it's so in Chinese language, it means love. Yeah, it's love broadcast basically. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we were praying right before we started. Yes, indeed. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that that the, the frequency of love <laughs> go out there. You know where wherever these uh, podcasts go. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, and I think it's a uh, very important that as Christian we need to stand up right now, especially this year, twenty twenty four. This this is not a year that we can sit around and just pray. We got to do way more than just praying. Mm -hmm. uh, our podcast is one of them, and all the po po podcasts is just part of it. But we really need to change the world and change. Our family and follow Jesus Christ, because that is our ultimate goal, and then that's how we can defeat the enemy. Like I, we, we prayed in the beginning, we want the podcast to be the stone that David pick up and throw at the Goliath, mm -hmm. and the Goliath mean, being our uh, being Sacramento and Gavin Newsom this time. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're praying that this podcast goes to you, whoever <laughs> you are that's listening, that. There will be something said today that will touch your heart, um, cause your mind to to think, maybe at an, in a different angle than you have before. And um, so, most of um, what you do on AI News is talk about the issues going on these yes. days. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, what are some of the issues that are really big on your heart this year? Uh, I think the election is a big issue right now. But I think the main issue that this country need to solve is family. Mm -hmm. Family is the biggest issue, and that is what the enemy is trying to attack and take over. They, our, I think, I think the bill just passed to say that uh, the California government can just take kids uh, from uh, school uh, from from their family if once it's over twelve years old. They can, uh, and they want to be an LGBT. They want to do a transition, and the government can just go and take your kids away. I Was think that um, Bill six six five. I, I don't know. Yeah. No, it's so hard to keep track. Yeah. But yeah, mm -hmm. I was at a I was at a, a home group meeting and one of the women there was so distraught because she said she's a grandmother and her grandchild just got taken out of the home because uh, because the child expressed to the school authorities that they wanted to go through the transgender treatments and without any notification mm -hmm. to the family they took the child right into another home yeah and uh the school if they, they, we, we have i think we have transition closet in school everything they're trying to do is attack the family and then uh, destroy our family value, destroy our American value. They're trying what is to transition be transition closet. Uh, transition closet is basically uh, for kids who think they're uh, transgender, and then uh, they can go to school with one outfit, and then uh -huh. they do a transition inside that closet at school, mm -hmm. and then uh, they can be whatever they want to be for the whole day. And then before they go to school, uh, before they go home, they can go to the transition closet again and mm -hmm. wear their normal clothes and go back to their parents. Basically, it's a it's a system to cheat the parents and not let the parents know that there are some problem with their kids. I have heard about that happening, but I haven't heard the term transition closet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as you describe it, it reminds it reminds me of being in kindergarten myself and going to school and they had a they had a dress up corner mm -hmm. and you have you have playtime in kindergarten and we just we dress up and we'd play. And then, you know, but then you take the clothes off when you know when it's time to do something else and go home and it seems like the children are being 
intentionally confused yes to where a child would say this is pretend this is fun this is um something in you know something in their mind that's really like play but it's being it's being affirmed in a way that's dangerous because the adults are telling them that this can be reality yes but this is lying to children yes it's like when uh when authority is telling you to do bad thing you think it's okay to do bad thing mm -hmm. like that stanford university's uh study well, the, 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 with the prisoner and uh, I think it was like 12 students, six be the prisoner and six be the guard. And then when the authority, when the moderator told the, the guard, you can abuse the prisoner, they will actually do it, even though they're just their fellow classmate. And then, uh, it, it, Whoa. It, yeah, it's, it's when authority, when someone give you the authority to yeah. do it, so you're getting so you're getting permission mm. to behave in a different reality. Yeah. <laughs> but it's but it's dangerous especially with children. So this was how old were these people in this study? Uh I uh, uh, no in Stanford University so it's got to be college, college age. Yes, yes. So well, okay, so brains don't finish developing until they're 25. Mm -hmm. But e so even college age students, they it sounds like in that study they were taking on a role. Yes. And they were living it. Yes. In that and and when you're just 2 years old, 5 years old, 8 years old, 12 years old and an authority gives you permission and gives you um, uh, like condoning and even encouraging and the word these days affirms yeah. that this unreality can make you happy. Yeah. And, uh, and, you, and they believe it. Mm -hmm. It's so, um, it's, a, it's such a phenomenon that we've never seen before. Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's it's in Bible all the time, uh, many, many different, and the reason they do it, I think, is because the Tenth Commandment told us we need to honor our parents. It is one of the way, all they want you to do, all they want the kids to do is to not honor their parents. Whatever they can do to destroy the family mm -hmm. by study, mm -hmm. starting not honoring mm -hmm. their parents, that's how mm -hmm. they can kill the family, and uh, mm -hmm. they want to make the kids so proud that they think that they are the smartest generation. All the generation behind them are mm -hmm. not, are dumb, are backward, uh, beliefs are backward, Christianity is backward. Everything need to be destroyed and they need to create something new. And what's new? Take off their genital, do, do that kind of thing. So I think that's their ultimate goal. And I think we as American, as Christians, that's our number one uh, enemy that we need to attack and we need to get rid of that idea. Yes, so it's undermining the Ten Commandments. Yes. And then um, in the Asian community, it's really going against our culture. It, one of the greatest values in Asian culture is the respect of elders and um, the idea that our our elders have wisdom that we respect and we we owe them the um i guess what's another word for respect i guess keep using the same <laughs> word but but we owe them to to let them know be involved in our lives and because they have an investment in our lives mm -hmm. and then to have um some um responsibility to their opinion so yeah, and I think uh, especially the Asian community is getting attacked. I I spoke at a lot of churches, and the Chinese churches they have no idea what they're doing. Um, Are they aware of what's happening in no. the public schools? Okay, so they don't no. even know what's going on. Yeah, and their kids are so are really brainwashed. And then uh, all the English congregation in Chinese churches are basically just an add-on. 
So no one cares about the English congregation, and then、uh, no one go there and look at what they're teaching. So it's the younger ones who are in the English congregation, yes. right? Yes. And so, so the、yeah. older generation isn't really paying attention, yeah, to the dangers that they're facing. Yeah, and I think the reason they're not、uh, Asian community,、uh, especially the second generation Asian. Are getting attacked so bad. You, you go, you go there, there. There's a lot of leftists. No matter how conservative the church is, the English congregation is pretty leftist. And、uh, all, all the kids, because they they think our parents don't even speak English, our parents don't understand what we're thinking, our parents don't have、uh, education in America, our parents are just backward in their old country.、Mm-hmm. They lost the respect culturally, and then they lose their respect、um, overall.、Mm-hmm. And they think、uh, school is more important. They're thinking their friends is more important, and they they give up the whole idea of、uh, family value and res- on, 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 and honor your parents.、Mm. And、uh, I think that is a very big problem I see yeah,、well, in churches. And that to hear that breaks my heart because.、Mm-hmm. Um, as a American-born Chinese for five generations, I look at I look at our American traditional、um, culture、um, with with a different kind of pride, <laughs> <laughs> because because traditionally America has had strong family values, strong Christian values. And then, so it breaks my heart that the younger generation of Asians、um, here in America are absorbing a poisoned version of American culture that's turning them against their parents. Yes, and the values that their parents actually have in common with American traditional values. And that's actually what they came here for. Wow, that yeah, that's really really makes me sad <laughs> because because yeah, because I, I love America and what America has stood for, and I've I've been around the world as a missionary, and when people、um, respond to America as as a place where they would love to visit and they would love to to live in,、um, because because they. Have that kind of maybe a ideal of what America should be,、mm. um, then it breaks my heart that they come here and their kids、um, get off off track because of、yeah. the, the current America trends. In a, in a secular world, the most sacred thing is our.、Uh, there's not nothing sacred in the non-religious world. But the closest thing close to close to sacred is a national flag.、Mm-hmm. Uh, people protect national flag, and we happen to have the best national flag. Not just because it's the most complicated one; we have fifty stars for no reason, <laughs> but it's because that flag stood for freedom, and that flag stood for modern day democracy. When the Hong Kong、uh, protesters protesting against communist China. They raise American flag. Yeah, when that people, made me cry. Yeah, when people in Cuba they they protest against Fidel Castro, they raise American flag. American flag means something in this world, not 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 only because you're Christian. For if you're Christian, the cross should mean everything to you. But American flag actually actually stand for something. Yes, yes. But now,、uh, I think what the left is trying to do is dis- destroy、yes. the whole idea. They can burn、yeah. it. They can step on it. I saw I saw a video of people burning the American flag on the Fourth of July. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Not only <laughs> not only is that disrespectful, but but it's it's heartbreaking and、um, it 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 could make us angry. But I think it more it makes me distressed and sad that.、Um, <sighs> We've come to we've come to this point where it, Americans will allow that to happen, and I don't. Where was it? Was it in D.C. where that was? I, I think it's、yeah. everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I can yeah. find a flag burning video in <laughs> San Francisco and in, in L.A. or、uh-huh. in、uh, Chicago.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet it's everywhere. 
Yeah. They, they, they want to destroy our country. They want to destroy our family. They want to destroy everything that Seems... this country st stood for for the past 260 years. All that is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, so in your family, you've got two little girls? Yes. 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 So what are you doing, Ethan, in your family to raise these girls? raise these girls with the kind so what kind of values do you want them to grow up with and how are you going to grow that into them i'm following your footstep ah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna homeschool all of them um it's not that i don't trust the public school education it's that uh the education in california is way too toxic even when i was in school uh the school was um, actually, compared to now, very conservative. Um, but when I uh, just, because me and my sister, we're five years apart. And so in her uh, curriculum, there's already like uh, gay marriage and gay right, and then Stonewall Jackson. I, I forgot what that, 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 that is, the, the riot over there. And, and, when I look through it, I'm like, oh, wow, this is happening. Like, So was that in early 2000s? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. That was very early on. And um, I, I, I tried to educate my, my, uh, my, my two girls, even though they're like three years old and five years old. But I already started. I want to make sure that um, every... Everyone talk about like a generation and you need to pass down to your faith, even the Bible, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and uh, Jacob. We, we need to pass it down. We need to make sure yes. our, our value, our God, mm -hmm. the God's law passed mm -hmm. down. And um, th think about it. Before there was any writing, Moses was able to uh, write the first five books of the Bible. Someone has to pass all the value down. And that's what we have to do. So uh, I, yes. I try to homeschool our kids. And then... Um, I'm so I, proud of you and Joyce because that, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a family sacrifice, a time sacrifice. It's, it's something that, you know, people have that phrase, um, you, uh, the buck stops here. And so it's a big responsibility because you can't pass the buck on to anybody else. It's, yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, if they go bad, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's also the biggest reward. Yeah. And you've got, you've got all of um, biblical tradition and and the Holy Spirit's mm -hmm. power backing you up because this is the way God designed families. Yes, and mm -hmm. I think uh, I, I need to teach them what kind of men to look for. They need mm -hmm. to, uh, our, our country have, our country's men are weak right now. They're, very, very and weak. I think they're, they're getting timid because they've been attacked a lot. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. and I think that's that that is for a reason. When the enemy come, they they're not gonna care about our our women, our mm -hmm. children, our teenagers. They only care about our men because men are the mm -hmm. only one that's gonna fight back. Mm -hmm. If we have no men, if mm -hmm. all our men are uh, women, yeah, and or uh, they they do the transition kind of thing, all the country will just go into slavery automatically. Mm -hmm. um, it, it takes Moses, a man, to lead uh, Israelite out of Egypt. It needs strong men. So uh, although I, I don't have any boys right now, but I need to teach our, my, my girl. Yes. They need to pick the right men. Yes. Because believe it or not, girls control this market. If girls love more responsible, mm -hmm. godly men, Mm -hmm. There will be more responsible <laughs> and godly men in this world. Yeah, if girls like bad boys and then uh, those who go, yeah. go to clubbing, most guys will go to go take that route. So uh, in order to stop this generational curse uh, of weak <laughs> uh -huh. young men, 
Uh-huh. We need to train our daughter as well as our boys. <laughs> mm-hmm. So there's something there like a principle of demand. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there's a high demand for real men yes. who are going to stand up, protect, uh, fight for what is good, yes. be courageous. Uh-huh. And, be a uh, provider and protector. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, and so and and daughters really need fathers like you, Ethan, because because even for girls, um, their identity is they look to the father. Yes. For who am I? And they look in your they look in your eyes, Ethan. They look in your face, and they're looking up and saying, "Daddy, um, who am I as as a girl, as a female, as as your daughter?" Um, who am I? And when you look back at them and you say, I love you as a girl and I'm proud of you as a, as a woman to be, yes. then, they, then your daughters are so blessed because they'll grow up secure and they'll know that it's a good thing to be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I know um, a lot of the gender transitioning is actually targeting girls. Yes, yes. Um, uh, girls is under attack as, as well as boys. Uh, the whole, our, our whole system, our whole family value is getting is under attack because that's what they want. They want to do. Mm-hmm. They want to make the kids not honor their parents so they can be proud of themselves. And that that is something that we've been lied to. Lied to. Uh, my my mom's generation. They were told like, oh, you need to be your friends. Uh, you need to be uh, your kid's friend. Don't yeah. have authority over them. Uh, mm-hmm. When you talk to them, you need to bend down. You need you, you need you need to kneel. That that is, that is not what the Bible says. Parents need to have mm-hmm. authority, mm-hmm. and parents need to know what to do. Uh, my mom, which is a couple of days, is just like, oh, just uh, oh, you gonna homeschool them? Oh, then um. Well, I read this article online. Uh, the parents should just act uh, dumb and then make the kids teach you. That's how they learn. I'm like, no, the mom, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to work very well. <laughs> no, yeah, children, children naturally look to the parents to yes. tell them what is true and um, how do I do this? Yes. And even if they're trying something on their own, they, they just automatically look to the parent's face yes. to see, okay, am I on the right track? They, they, they need and expect that guidance. And if they don't have it from the parents, they're going to find it somewhere else. Yes. And it's usually um, not as, um, it's, it's not safe always to find it somewhere else. Yes. Um, even even churches, um, a lot of parents just give the, their kids to church and expect that everything will be okay. But that is not true. Churches fall all the time. Churches, uh, I, I just read this article. Uh, it's about uh, during World War II, uh, when, when, Nazi was t- when Nazi took over and then uh, there was this train track and then on, on the train, there will be Jews. Mm-hmm. And then they will, they, will, they will cry out on the train. They will scream on the train because mm-hmm. it was hard. Because if you guys seen the, the movie Schindler's List, it's, yeah. gonna, it's, it's something like that. Ugh. And then the church next to it, mm-hmm. the pastor will tell them, oh, just worship a little louder. And just, drown out the screams. Yes. Yeah. That 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 is kind of the church that they had, and then uh, you 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 go see the. Yeah, I I saw. Uh, I think it was a Lutheran German uh, Germans Lutheran uh, pastor. He said he saw uh, German people Germany people saw Christ through Hitler. So the the it, it's possible. Wow. Yeah, the church could fall. And yes. the church could yeah. teach bad things. Yeah. Uh, as parents, we need to protect our kids. That's an apostate church. Uh, yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm not saying that church is bad. I love church. I love to go to church. Mm-hmm. I always go to church. But parents need yes to be involved in 
every aspect of the child's life uh, um, until they're until they're ready to be an independent, responsible adult. Yes. And so even with church, you don't just drop them off and expect that everything is fine. Yes. Um, you need to listen and see what's being taught and watch. But going back to the um, World War II and the Jews and the Holocaust in mm-hmm. Germany, um, there's there's a new Bonhoeffer movie coming out. I saw it, its release date is November, mm-hmm. and uh, on Instagram, and I I commented on there. You need to release this movie in September or October <laughs> before the, the election. election, because because so Bonhoeffer, as you know, yeah. um, he was a pastor in Germany during World War II, and he and he was one of the courageous ones who stood against everything Hitler was trying to do. And he saw that Hitler was going to destroy and do genocide against the Jews and destroy as much of the world as he could. And so Bonhoeffer risked his life to stop Hitler. Um, And if people watch that movie and learn that story and they are challenged, I'm expecting that this is a good movie that will challenge people to be courageous and brave against um, evil and tyranny and pressure. Um, And that needs to come before the election because we need brave people to stand up and um, come out and vote for other brave people. Yes, yes. In this election before no before November, um, so yeah. the election's November fifth. The movie comes out November twenty second. So so hey, Angel Studio, <laughs> <laughs> release it in September, October. Yeah, um, I, I think I, I just heard that story a couple of days ago. Uh, his, his stuff really inspired me, and uh, mm-hmm. I think that is the problem that we see in our church today. A lot of churches are just pray. They don't want to do anything. Bonhoeffer, if you look at through his uh bio, not not biography, his 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 story, he's a pacifist. He don't want fight. He mm-hmm. don't want to do anything. He don't want wars. Yeah, he's a peace loving Christian. Yes, but he end up being in the uh in uh intelligent agency in Germany, mm-hmm. giving Jewish people. The papers, so they can run run to Poland and just out of Germany, not not Poland, uh, but, but just run away from Germany, not run away from Nazis, and uh, they, they, he protect and uh, save Jewish people. He knew he was gonna get arrested, mm-hmm. and it, it's not like he is he 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 is anti government, to so he does that. He had blonde hair. He had blue eyes. He had everything that Hitler described mm-hmm. as uh, Aryan superior race, which he would have hit- been safe. Yeah, but he, because he's a Christian, so he did the right thing. He fought off those churches in Germany, and he s- tried to save the Jewish people. And I, I read the, I, I saw the documentary. Uh, the eyewitness account said that when he when when he saw when he, uh, he get executed by hanging, he said he was praying. Yeah, and he was calm. Wow, like Stephen in the Bible. Yes. Wow. And he was he. I'm not sure if it's happy is a word to say it, but he was calm. And uh, right before he died, I think the word was. Uh, Death comes right now, and life just uh, my life has begun. That is mm-hmm. some powerful words, mm-hmm. and uh, he that he, he said he, he he was not crying and he was not scared because he know what he's doing is right. And I, I, he he mentioned when uh, he mentioned he was praying. I wonder what he's praying about. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be. Yeah. For Germany, yeah, for the people. I expect it was probably like Jesus on the cross saying, "Father, forgive them." Yes, they don't know what they're doing. Yes, and um, I yeah. was thinking, oh, I had another thought on Bonhoeffer, but okay, keep going. Did you have something else? No, no, I feel like we're yeah, promoting so, the movie now. <laughs> I, I know. 
but so but it's 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 a man of courage, and he did sacrifice his life mm. to to save um, the Jewish people, and um, so it was something about um, Jewish. Oh, Dennis Prager. So Dennis Prager is this wonderful Jewish uh, radio talk show mm-hmm. man, and I heard one of his fireside chats that just really touched my heart because he said, if there's a time when um, the Jews again are are under attack and um, people want to kill them, I mean, here in California, he, Dennis Prager, would go to a Christian to protect him because he knows that it's the Christians who will who will love and protect those that are um, vulnerable and innocent. Yes, let's hope that's the case. That, that, that's why we need to fight for what's right. Or unless, uh, or, or if one day our church has fallen. Right, and like you were saying, there are churches that purport to be Christian, mm-hmm. but if they're going to just sing louder so they don't have to hear the screams of the dying, um, that's not a real Christian church. Yeah, and that is straight up evil Mm -hmm. and we cannot let that happen so christians with our our conservative value those who really love jesus we need to stand up we need to scream at the top of our lungs saying like this is right praying is good but we need to put our prayers into action that's right right we can't be silent yeah yeah and so you ethan with ai news your youtube channel you are you're 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 raising your voice. Yes. That truth may be heard in English and in Chinese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, with me having an opportunity to podcast, I hope this goes out to the ones that it will that it will touch their hearts that to stand up, have courage, use your voice, speak what is true, defend defend those who need defending like the children because these children as we were talking about in school they're being deceived yes they're being deceived and if they go through the hormone treatments if they go through the transgender surgeries their lives will be destroyed their bodies will never be the same and they it will not make them happy as they've been promised yes that's a lie it's yeah. a destructive lie yeah like that train we talked about they are screaming. Mm-hmm. They are screaming inside that train. Mm-hmm. Transgender have the number one suicide rate. Yes, and it's worse after yes. they start these treatments. Yes, and then uh, homosexuality will not make them happy, but but they 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 will have some mental problem, and it's it's all study been proven. And then a lot of Christians just oh just just pray about it. Ah, uh, just, 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 just worship. Mm-hmm. It's or like let's that just church. Plug our ears, yes, and and pretend that we don't hear it. Yeah, yeah. We 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 need to be the salt and light. That means we really gotta go out and be the salt and light. We cannot just stay at our home and mm-hmm. pray about it and mm-hmm. feel good about ourselves, or else we're just like that Germany, that church in Germany that plug their ears. Yes. So, Ethan, brother Ethan, thank you, thank you so much for being a light. That's shining, and uh, and that salt. However, salt needs to be. If salt needs to bring out good flavor, or if salt needs to be rubbed in a wound so that it won't fester with, with poison. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And um, I think salt and light is a perfect uh, v- viewpoint to our faith. Because uh, light will shine on something if it's healthy, will help a plant grow. Right. And if it's it's, it's dead, it's corroded, it will f- speed up the f- uh, corrosion and mm-hmm. uh, the decomposing process. Mm-hmm. So, being the salt and light, don't 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 be scared of uh, people who go away from church or you're gonna offend someone. Light supposed to be mm-hmm. shine mm-hmm. no matter what yeah. and both salt and light disinfect yes yes <laughs> <laughs> yes so so the salt and light is what is good and purifying yes and disinfecting yes so all right ethan thanks so much for joining me today on 
this is our time because if we don't do something now, it's just going to get worse. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our time. I'm Elizabeth Long Allers. And remember, it all starts with love. Your lives are important. And liberty operates when good laws promote peace and prosperity. Thanks. See you next time.